Hello everyone. Today let's see how to create a component in Lab Center Electronics using ISIS Professional Schematic Editor. Now this is a schematic editor which generally used to create the PCB layout and design. So today let's see how we can create a component which is needed for most of the design. So generally let's see we have a component here which we need to create now the component is uh, a chipset which is let's say DS1620 is an 8 pin SOIC device now this device we may not find it in the ISIS professional editor so let's begin by making a component in the schematic editor for that so let's Let's open this ISIS professional editor tool, the schematic editor tool. So here is the schematic editor tool. Now in this, I need to create a component. So to create a component, let's you make an outline, the graphical outline of the component. So generally a graphical outline, it just indicates how the component looks like so it is left to you to decide how it's supposed to be so if you are designing an AND gate you can just make a diagram of an AND gate showing input and output now I just showing uh, IC which will this IC uh, with so many uh, IO pins and uh, I will assign the pin numbers to it so I can just uh, make a component after you make the, the 2D graphic box of the component, you need to insert the, the pins for these actually. Now these input output pins will be named in terms of the symbol as well as numbered to identify the component. And later this entire component is actually assigned with the package. So before we name the component, we should know what this device is and what are the IO pins. So let's go here. Now this component is about the chip DS1620, which is a digital thermometer and a thermostat. Now the pins are DQ, clock, RST, ground, all these are the pins. So I need to assign the Pins. Now there are different packages. I guess, as you can see, it comes with two packages. One is SOIC and another is DIP package, which we generally use it in the lab and where the pitch width is roughly around 2 mm. So, so now this component I can create it in area. So I just made a 2D graphics box. Now, as per the requirement, let's select the IVO pins. For that I need to select the symbol box. So let's say I need to select a pin. So now this is a default pin. default terminal which we place here so let me place it here now select here something called as device pin mode as you can see now I am under device pin mode so select device pin mode and choose the default now use the default pin so click over here and another I will keep it over here and one more I click it over here and one more here so that another pin you can just connect it on the other end so that the one which you can see here so let me put it over here one two three and four now what I can do is I can just rotate it so 180 degree and all these I can rotate it 180 degree so that 
I can place it in a proper direction as it's supposed to touch to the 2D graphics box. So now I have made it to touch to the 2D graphics box. After you connect it to the 2D graphics box, now you need to suppose to name this particular pin. So let's come to this. So the pin name as per the PDF diagram, it is DQ, second pin is clock, reset and ground. So let me name it in the similar way. I will name it as DQ, which is pin number is 1. Say OK. Another is here it is clock and reset and ground. So this is clock. Pin number 2. Then this is RST. This pin number 3. And next is ground. Pin number 4. Another one is it is TC low, TC common, TC low, T high, VDD. T common, T low, T high, VDD. So, T common, pin number 5, next, T low, pin number 6, and T high. Pin number 7 and the last pin is VDD. So I can just name it as VDD. That is pin number 8. Okay. Now after you name this particular pins, now you just I will just simply zoom out, see how it got named. Now as you can see that these pins are named. Now you can choose this particular device, the component as what it is. For example, I need to create a component. After you fill all these details, just click the entire device, that component, right click and just click make device. After you click this make device option, give the device name what it is. The device name is DS1620 that is the device name normally this IC is supposed to appear it's an integrated chip so it will appear with the prefix like U1, U2, U3 depending on how many times you want to put this device so external module symbol names not necessary you can go to the next now this is actually the default package so if you are going to assign a package for this device then you are supposed to add the package the package should be available in your library if it is not available later also we can add the package as per the requirement it could be dip package or pdip package anything or it could be a soic package also so now i will not edit this so let me go to the next option now you suppose to <coughs> go with the next uh, this options also not necessary now now data sheet if you have any data sheet available here you can also give the data sheet file name here so it will be helpful whenever they want to see the data sheet i will not go through this i will simply add this particular device category in which device it will fall now it's a device actually it comes under analog ic or it could be any other ic you have to choose a proper it's a i'll put it as miscellaneous under the subcategory so when you are creating the category you should be careful that which category you want to select this you can select it in transducer also you can select it in the any other converter connectors depending on what device you want to make so i have selected in the miscellaneous category and the device is put in the user device library just create the package now this particular component is now created as ds1620 you can save this file so that in future if you want to edit you can edit this component so i will name it as 
component DS 1620 so that if I have to make any changes I can make changes here and I can again make a new component in this particular schematic now if I am going to have this particular component again so before that I can just open a new design file and I can show you how I can open the component now just go to the pickup library here you can type DS1620 you can see here DS1620 has been created here which was the user defined you can just click OK now this is your component so as you can see here this component is now created and ready for the connection so you can make, make a connection as per the data sheet so this is how we create a component in ISIS professional editor thank you